Recalling that my machine learning foundation series consists of eight subjects, the subject that we're currently undertaking, partial derivatives and integrals, is the fourth in the series. Crazy as it might seem, if you've been following along with all of the videos in this series, we're now reaching the end of this fourth subject, which means we're also nearly halfway through my entire Machine Learning Foundations curriculum. I broke the partial derivatives and integrals subject that we're nearly through into three thematic segments. The first, a review of introductory calculus, was a quick recap of the essential single variable calculus we needed to move forward with the multivariable calculus we focused on so far in the current subject. With the preceding video, we wrapped up the gradients applied to machine learning segment, which featured the use of multivariable calculus in order to derive the gradients that enable most machine learning algorithms to do their learning. And now, we're kicking off the final calculus segment in my Machine Learning Foundation series, having focused primarily on the differential branch of calculus up until now throughout the series, we are finally digging into the integral branch. More specifically, in this final segment on integral calculus, we'll cover binary classification. This will allow us to have a particular problem to solve with integration. Specifically, we will use a binary classification machine learning problem to create something called a confusion matrix. And then we'll use that confusion matrix to create something called the ROC or receiver operating characteristic curve. And after we learn how to integrate, we can then find the area under this curve, which is a key metric in machine learning, particularly for binary classification problems. In order to be able to calculate the area under a curve, uh, we need to know how to calculate integrals manually. And then we will also cover how to integrate numerically with Python, so using code as opposed to doing it by hand. And then, yes, we'll apply that knowledge to actually find the area under the ROC curve. And we'll wrap up the entire segment, including the entire subject, with resources for the further study of calculus on your own time. All right, you excited? This is a fun application-packed segment. Let's get to it.